All right, hey guys, what is up? And all here today, bringing you guys another video. So I just wanna let you guys know from the beginning that this video is not gonna be narrated by me. It is going to be narrated by my buddy Storm Dankers. His uh, link is gonna be down in the description below. Be sure to go subscribe to him with the notification bell on. He makes really good stories. Um, Maybe you guys want to see him do more video game creepypastas. What do you think about having a no, uh, co-narrator on my channel? Like, me and Storm, and somehow, you know, maybe I do all the cartoon creepypastas, and he does all the video game creepypastas. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below, and uh, let's see if we can get Storm to feel like doing that or something. With that said, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for me as well. Hit that like, and also... Leave a comment, as I just said, if you want Storm to co-narrate on this channel. Um, follow all my social media. It is the best way to interact with me and be notified when a video uplo is uploaded. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Well, I am so scared right now. I just played a fucked up game or ROM called Conquest Wars Fur Day. Uh, I guess I should tell you my story. When I was younger, I owned an N64, and for my birthday, I got a game called Conquest Bad Fur Day. It was a game meant for adults due to the swearing, blood, nudity, sexual references, and etc. But my parents just saw the cover and thought, oh, this looks like a cute game, perfect for our son's birthday. A little update, my parents got a used copy of the game and they probably didn't see the rating because it was smaller on the cartridge than the box. Anyways, I used to love that game. I obviously didn't tell my parents about it because I knew they would return it if they found out. I loved playing through it and I laughed a lot. I probably would have laughed more back then if I knew what some of the jokes meant. Okay, so earlier today, I was watching a YouTube video about Sonic, and I came across a video called Eggman is the Great Mighty Pooh. I knew I heard that somewhere, then I saw something called Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Great Mighty Pooh. Okay, so after seeing this, I thought, hey, I remember this game. Suddenly I felt an extremely big urge to play the game. I already had an N64 emulator, Project 64, which I used to relive games like Mario 64, Zelda, and etc. So I googled Conquer ROM, exactly like that. After I hit the I'm feeling lucky button, I don't remember the site's name because I wanted to play the game. It opened a near blank page with just a button in the middle that said, Download Conquer's Warriors Fur Day. I know it sounds dumb and that I didn't notice that the name was odd, but I clicked the button anyway. It began to download when it was done. I started playing. It didn't open like the with the original jumping screen with the jumping in 64 logo and conquer cutting in half with the chainsaw no it started with a gray squirrel like one of the ones you see in the bar at the main menu running in a poorly lit room then a mangled bloody wounded conquer appeared behind him and sawed him in half with a chainsaw spilling guts bones etc everywhere then conquer looked at the screen with his torn up bloody face and said you're in for hell fucker the voice of Conquer seemed off, it was a lot deeper and the audio quality was very bad. The strange thing was that in Conquer, the word fuck is censored, but in this ROM it wasn't. I didn't realize this at first and damn, that was a bad idea to keep going with the ROM. Anyway, the game started with Conquer entering the bar as usual, but instead of the menu showing up when Conquer entered the bar, you could hear was loud eerie, depressing moaning. I instantly turned on the volume because I am very paranoid of certain sounds. Moaning relates to an incident that dates back to my childhood and scary movie. Then out from under the door of the bar, blood started seeping through and mixing into the puddle from the rain, and the screen faded out to black. Then it showed the beginning area where you start the game and you have the hangover. Finally I can play, I thought. This was not a good thing. Anyway, I started, but there was no cutscene and Conquer was fine. I pressed B and Conquer swung a chainsaw and put it away. Cool, I get a chainsaw instead of a stupid frying pan. Anyway, I jumped the fence to speak to Birdie, but when I walked up to him, Conquer looked at him and said, Hey, shithead, 
Give me some help. Then Birdie the Scarecrow looked at him and said, Why the fuck do you need anything? You know how to play, moron. What the fuck, I thought. I just took a breath and continued. That was true. I learned the controls by running around a bit before talking to Birdie. Then Conker looked at Birdie and said, You fucking shithole, I'll cut your fucking head off. Then a light bulb appeared above Conker's head. I pressed B. Then the game entered a cutscene. It was very dark for some reason, and the place was only illuminated by constant lighting flashes. Anyhow, the game just flashed a picture of Conker killing Birdie with a chainsaw. Then the same Conker voice said, Rot in hell, fucker. Although the game still showed the dark room, after Conker suddenly appeared in the black area, then I got to play again. Then I noticed that this was the same place where Birdie was, but Birdie was gone now. I made my way up to the mountain path, but the gargoyle was not there, and for some odd reason, there was a strange hissing noise in the background. So I headed into the cave. I wasn't expecting to appear in a bright, happy field with the nasty and nice fork in the middle of the road, but instead Conker entered a path up to the haunted house. I walked up, but I forgot about the skeleton snakes and got attacked by one. But instead of being chewed up and spit out, it showed the snake put Conker on the ground and started mauling him, biting him over and over, revealing his guts, bones, and eyes started spilling out. Then the skeleton snake let out a demonic cry, then jumped out on the road and dug back into the ground. I was waiting for the game to restart back to the checkpoint, but instead it just showed a fucked up, hurt, bloody, wounded Conker in a seemingly endless room filled with zombies, you know, like from the graveyard level. It showed Conker on the ground, guts, blood, etc., lying all around him. Then it showed his face. I got so shocked from the scene, I turned around and let my stomach settle. Then I looked back at the cut up, bloody Conker face. He was missing his eyes and showed empty sockets. Then after he let out a moan, he, he said these words in the... Uh, you never know a good thing until until it's gone when conquer said gone it was so loud and terrifying i shut the sound off the sound startled me so badly i nearly pissed myself so i ran to the bathroom and then i returned the screen showed conquer being devoured by endless amounts of zombies so then when all that was left was the disturbing head of conquer the zombies faced the screen and started walking toward it. Then I tried pressing B. When I did, a shotgun was pulled out. The game seemed like a first person shooter, sort of like Halo. Well, sort of. I pressed Z and it fired a shot holding off the zombies. I remember that Conqueror, zombies must get shot in the head to die. So I killed them one by one until there were no more. Suddenly, the Conqueror had begun to moan a little bit. So I ran over, knowing I would have to see the head, but I felt like I had to do it, you know? The screen showed Conker's head lying there, and he said, D Don't be, be like me. Learn t to love and don't love money. Be, be kind. Promise me you will do this. The game didn't let the game didn't do anything, and by now I had tears running down my face, and I nodded my head. Then Conqueror's head let out one more gasp and said, Good. Now it sounded like Conqueror. Then the screen darkened, and out of the emulator closed itself. Then I deleted the ROM and turned off my computer. Even now I can s still hear his voice echoing in the back of my head, but I know that ROM was a message to me. I used to be greedy. I was a porn addict. So, let this be a message to you, okay? Good. Real quick, before I go, I have an update. I tried to return to the site that had the ROM on it, but I managed to get the ROM out of the recycling bin. I can only get a screenshot of the ROM, and for some reason, when I try to load the ROM, I get a window that says error. Attempt to open zip file failed. Missing your corrupt zip file. Check path file and, you know, you know the works. You may need to restart the application. I tried to extract the file, but that didn't work, so I got onto my new computer and it still doesn't work. 
I'm not going to upload the ROM. Either nobody deserves this to go through the same thing that I did.